What is up, guys? Welcome to the sixth episode of this series. Thank you so much for tuning on into another episode. I built this game offline. I'm basing it off of the current popular trends, which is plumber. Uh, I'm not using plumber, actually. I'm using skill game, and then skill performs well with platform. Skill game's target group is children, so we're doing that. Um, I ended up buying a license because I'm really putting a lot of money into this game, and I just want to make sure that we get the popularity we're looking for. I sort this now by, oh, without an engine, sorry. I sort this now by the <clears throat> uh, the amount of active users. So it goes in the most active. So it's 15 mil, 13 mil, 13 mil, two mil on council. We obviously have all the usual suspects here. Uh, all languages per usual, always. A little copyright protection, you know. Uh, don't know the stats for this, unfortunately. We have this correct. This is not correct, but we're guessing. I'm working with them, working with what we got. We've actually never built a skill game yet, weird enough, but it's the current trend, so I want to make sure we hit it. And we are good to go. So let's start working on that. Obviously, per usual, we have everyone work on it, but like I mentioned in the last episode, today is a new day, a very exciting one. I'm trying to get these people to finish up that council development so we can get a, uh, a brand new council launched. So that's the, uh, that's the crazy goal here. We can accept more graphic designers and researchers if there are any good ones. No. Okay. So now we're just chilling. This game's still on the market. We are managing the production of this game. So we're kind of just leaving it alone. Obviously, continue development. But once that is done, we'll, we'll get that launched. Or get it off the market, I mean. And it looks like it's done. So let's retire that game. Remove game from market. Boom. Take games automatically off the market. Yeah. Cool. I just found out, dude, there's so many like automated things, which is nice. But we definitely did not make as much money as initially expected. I think. Uh... What do we make? Like four million from that game? Mm, not great. It is what it is, but. I'm a little disappointed with the amount we made because look at test driver four they're already making oh, nearly four million or four million already it was our first self-produced game so that could be it these people upset you upset why are you upset the employee finds it too crowded here wait that's a thing too crowded you guys feel too crowded no you do though why do you feel too crowded it's not like i can give you much more room there's no room in the hallway Eh, deal with it. Zach 2. Oh, nice. Developer. That's cool. Test driver game of the year, baby. Another game of the year. Cool. Love to see it. Wow, we already finished producing this. We produce games so quick, but I still want to get this council development done. So, like, I'm trying to decide. Oh, wait. Hurry up and release it. I just realized that it is uh, it's Christmas, which is 50% increase in, uh, in sales here. So, ooh, five stars. I'm in. Established game studio. We keep upgrading so quick. Look at that. That's a hit. That's a hit. Love to see it. I, I say we immediately release a paid add-on for it. Obviously everything. It's gonna be a it's like it's gonna be such a good game that we just gotta do it. You guys making the game report? Uh, continue development. And then you guys can help polish that. I like that you can now use in the polish. This is, it came out a while ago, but it's still nice that's an option. And I don't talk too much about it, but I think it's really cool that it is there. We always hit production orders. They're free. And we, we do them quick because we have so many production little machines there. Economic simulations, like, available. Not a huge deal. Could expand more, but we have all this space here. I should do something with it. I just don't know what I want to do with it yet. Always could research one of the other departments. Let's keep moving while I like, click on things. No. Uh, council development is what we're researching now. So we might need that space for that. We obviously still don't have a marketing team, sound studio, or motion sensor, unfortunately. But we'll get there. I don't think all those are available right now anyways. It's just 1983. It's still pretty early on in this playthrough. 
Uh, looks like everyone's done doing their thing. I guess we could release the game. Oh, I forgot. This was the uh, this was the add-on. It's not an independent game. We're just passing over the publisher. Cool. Almost want another research team, but I know the thing with research is it's very front heavy. Like right now you're like, wow, dude, I have so many things I want to research. I want to research the 26 other topics. I want to research the five different rooms. I want to research this. I want to research that. But then there's like absolutely no point in having them later on. By a year like 95, you have everything researched. So there's like no point in like us spending that much more time on it, to be honest with you. That add-on already is profitable. I'm almost tempted just to make another add-on. Like, is that, like, too many add-ons? I'll try it, dude. I'm in. What are your other options? Standalone add-on. What does that even mean? Normal add-ons require the main game. They increase the sales of the main game, but cannot exceed the sales of the main game. Standalone add-ons do not require the main game, but a new campaign, the sales figures of the main game are not affected, but the sales figures can be higher than the main game. Gotcha. Dude, let's try it, man. I don't think I've ever done a standalone add-on. These numbers are right, right? What is this? Mario's friend named it that because it's a uh, it's a platformer. It was going to be about. Uh, oh, we actually hit a couple couple marks there. Uh, cool. This is right. No new features. Nope. But can you guys improve the gameplay of that? No. Uh, that's unfortunate. But you guys can polish it, right? Yes. You guys can too? Cool. So we're gonna keep working on polishing these games and then we're going to uh, obviously release the next one. So let's continue that development there. See what happens. Council development's almost done. We got a gold record for Mario's friend because of it uh, reaching a million sales. Very nice, almost almost 90% uh, on the council development. Then I will immediately build out a, uh, a council room could be here. Um, I'm not sure if you need large booth. I'm not sure if you need a are we advertised. No, test driver four is almost off the market. No council yet, but I don't know if we need to advertise the release of a council. Not, I'm sorry. I don't know if there's people necessary to update the council. Like, I don't know if the room requires people. There we go. So if the room doesn't require people, we put it in here. If it requires people, we'll put it like over here. We have all the space and we'll just kind of, it'll be a weird shaped room, but at least it will accommodate everything. Oh, we should release this now. Eh, let's wait for council development to finish. So today I went for a nice long run. I did six miles. Um, it was great. Oh no, I left automation on. Oof, that's painful. Uh, I give add-on to publisher. This is our first standalone add-on, by the way. As previously mentioned. Uh, I had the... Where is it? Council development. Uh, we have to separate a room, of course, which will be... Well, let's let's just do this real quick. Let me see what's... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, so we do need people. Okay. Uh, cool. So that means this again, and we're just going to expand this room drastically. Like up to there, I think. Get a door on that. This is my first time ever building a council in this game, so I'm quite excited. We already have the, uh, the rooms necessary in here, so should just be good to go. Let's get some workshops on the move. Don't really know how many we need, but we're gonna do the usual strat, which is kind of fill the room up. And if we like it, we like it. If we don't, we don't. This is not even. Y'all are gonna hate me for doing this. I hate myself for doing this, to be honest. It's not in like even rows, but whatever. And we should be able to build this room nice. So first things first, we have to check the heat. We wanna make sure that we have enough heat in this room, so. Do the usual thing, pop up heaters everywhere. That looks like a warm room, good. Heat's done, next we have to make sure it's pretty, which means we have to look at the star value and it might just be worth putting a couple of our, uh, couple of our winning trophies in here, I know. 
Yeah. Y'all are going to be just basking in the glory of these gorgeous trophies. And we can even hang up one of our golden records. Yeah. Yeah. You're you're at a golden record type of place. We have golden records. Love them. Be impressed by them. Can we actually not put one over here? Oh, I can. It just was getting kind of... It doesn't want to snap over there, but we can't get one. And that is a 100% green. Great. Perfect room. I know it's far from perfect, but let's, let's just not talk about it. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. All right. It's a little crazy. It's expensive, but we have the money. Let's hire a team. Who works in here? So first things first, you got to check who works in here. Technicians work in here. Okay. So job market. Check out for techs. Uh, what is technician a job i was looking up here in the council profession are most effective technician indicates how many employees can fit in the room hmm. is it a category maybe am i just is it one of the categories technicians no not hmm. research hard Game testing market. Do, 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 do. I figured it'd be programming. Oh, wait. Hardware technician. Oh, okay, cool. It's a hardware technician is what I'm assuming. That makes sense. They just... They use different terminology, which... Oh, no. Technician. I'm just blind. Uh, Develop a council. Let's develop a stationary council. I have absolutely no problem with you guys just kind of messing around and seeing what you can make i don't expect it to be any good to be honest with you it's okay it's our first council ever what's this what is this i don't know what this is i don't, I don't know what that is oh well. you oh you need to pick the color of the count okay that's your oh. okay. of a positive effect on buying behavior. Really weird controller. Hmm. Number of a number of attached input devices. The more input devices are added to the council, the higher the production cost. I don't care. Uh, Pre-installed classic games. Yo, you want to do it? Let's, let's hit them with it. Let's hit them with Test Driver, man. Enjoy the original Test Driver on us. No features because we don't have any unlocked. Is that okay? Oh, it is. Woo, that's going to take a while. Can I not support this somehow? Hmm. All right, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I guess no rush, right? Uh, should we develop another game? Up in the air? Any commission work? Yeah, knock those both out real quick. I don't know what we're going to do. Can we produce? How do you produce councils? Is it in the workshop? The workshop. Able to make arcade cap. Research the work. Ah, uh, they're finishing up that. All right, we got some time to waste, I guess. Uh... You guys create that game report? Oh, no game reports necessary. Okay, cool. Uh, we have some time to waste, I guess, for a little bit until that council is completed, which might not even happen this episode because it looks like it takes freaking forever, which is okay. I just have to make sure that we uh, that I keep hiring people because if I can hire two, three more people, you know, it's going to be like a brand new uh, brand new group there. Uh, okay. we. I guess we can develop another game, right? Hmm. Don't have mobile games. No publisher needed, significantly lower development costs, and no add-ons possible, no re-release. No, uh, not possible. That's that's kind of cool, though. Hmm. Okay, let's, uh... Skill games are still popular. Do we really want to do another skill game? I kind of want to randomize this. Is that, like, an option? Just... 
Oh, wait, we haven't updated our engine in forever. I don't think we've researched anything to update, though. Let's just release, like, a random game, man. Uh, what's, let's just take the most popular things. Skill game and economic simulator. Okay, the two most popular genres. I don't have economic simulator research. What's after that strategy you're in? The topics went well were zoo and something else, but now there's so many copies of it. Do mathematics. And I don't know. Agriculture. <laughs> uh yeah, we don't need a license. Uh active users. Once again, it's just an order from the whoever has the most active players. We have to take the most popular engine. We should buy all the dev kits. What the heck is going on? I never knew. Was there actually this many councils back in the day? Like, I would have had no idea. These are still the most popular. That one has 7 million active users. You're off. That one has 7 million. All languages by five, five um actually if we look at messages from mario's friend i think we should know uh graphics enthusiastic wish mario was more beginner friendly was developed too much for core gamers okay would have liked better level design would have liked better mission design. Okay, so level design, mission design, too much for core gamers. Uh, they said more beginner friendly? What was our last one? Mario's friend. Uh, 40, 10, 10, 40. 40, 10, 10, 40, 40, 10. Cool. Actually, you just hit this to like auto optimize. So I should hit that more, but that's okay. Uh, everything. 15, oh, it has to make a B plus game. Mm, I'm gonna click on that, even though it's not part of the popularity thing. And then Group gameplay, enable all, group graphics. Can't commission work. We're just gonna hit improve higher quality, commission all. Cool. And then we gotta keep looking into the job market for new people. You guys are doing nothing. Hold up. Oh my god, we need to research all this. Oh no, our council's gonna stink. I didn't know that the market was so good right now. Um, hmm. Eh, you don't say. Hmm. Wow, I bought that, and I'm really building a really crappy council. I'm considering canceling it. Release it right now? Please, no. Please don't do that. I don't know, man. Should we cancel the council? I didn't realize, like, our council is going to be, like, the oldest thing ever. Did we even make a game this year? Yeah, I don't think we did. We released so many add-ons to Mario and Friends. And we had the standalone, which actually did horrible. That's pretty cool. Look at that job market again. Need more techs. Not a single one. Not a single one. Wow. Any researchers? Nope. Painful. You know what I was saying before? That we don't need another research group? I'm about to hire one. We need another research group. I feel like we're falling behind. Without quality. 
I don't know how you guys feel, but my quality of gaming is like atrocious right now. Yeah, Mario Friends made a lot of money. I get it. I get it. It makes sense. It was a great game. Like kind of a competitive Mario and Friends that we're about to release. New year, new market. Research guy. We're just one research guy short there. No big deal. All right, now developers, hardware, tech. Done. Should I just hire people that like look good and then worry about their hardware skills later? later? Like, honestly, is that, is that what we should just do? Because anyone's better than no one, right? Wait, this researcher is so freaking good. Hold up. Yeah, wait a second. Fire someone. Yeah, that researcher was like too good. Okay. Uh, I almost think we just hire people and then... Ooh, graphic designer. You're really good too. You're in. Another researcher? Not a good one, though. No. Another researcher. Not a bad one. You know what? Oh, another graphic designer. Uh, hmm. You know what? I'm just going to hire a bunch of people here. I know. These people will end up needing to be replaced eventually, but I think anyone's better than no one. So that's my train of thought right now. And I think I was right. We still fit five more people. Should we just shove five more people in there? Probably. Dude, we're unlocking so much stuff and I don't have another research group to, like, solve it. I'm feeling really stupid because our research group's busy doing research. Oh, wait. Crap, man. That game has been finished forever. There's no hype for it because I don't think... Uh, that's fine. Uh, who released the last game for us? Uh, Alphabet. No, Market Strength. Oh, we should re release a platformer. You. Cool. Well done, boys and gals. Nicely done. Nicely done. Paid add-on. I think those paid add-ons are just, like, too good. And it's free as heck. I literally just do this and then just hit play and hit polish on these. Like, too good. Five of five bugs? Well, let's solve those. We have three games. This was a standalone, right? And it's still doing well. Super Drive. I I really don't think we should advertise Super Drive at this point. I really don't think so. We can. I will. Oh, it wasn't five of five. This was just just barely over the uh it looked like that, but it really wasn't five of five. Okay. Uh unclick that. Scroll in here. We now have these fancy new ones, as you guys see. Very cool. We now have our council development in here. But I want us to get the council development done this episode, so we're, it might just be... Yeah, it's going to be a little bit longer, but no big deal. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Release that. Finish development. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give that on to publisher. Nice job, guys. I want them to finish that. They're still working on, like, all those... Like fancy things, but at least we'll have the, the first system done. Dude, I actually, I almost, I always have this debate, okay? This is my mental debate. Like, should we just make the development kit, like, free? And here's the theory behind it, is that they'll just produce games for it. Then everyone's going to say, oh, I need that council. We'll make it, like, 5K. It'll be freaking dirt. Current production costs 600.
Do I just want to lose money per council? And then... Wait, where would I make money then? Hold up. I wouldn't make any money. Unless if it's like with games I produce, right? Would I ever make money? Optimize production processes and decline hardware costs. Reduce production costs over time. You know what? Let's just cut even right now. You know what? Let's cut even. I'm... I'm no. Let me just cut even. I will literally cut perfectly even. I will cut even. And then the development kit will only get me five grand. It's going to make me like no money. But my plan here is... I don't know my plan. Just do it. Oh, it actually, I rated really well. So like, do we produce that? No. Okay, someone else is producing it. I wasn't sure if we'd have to produce the kit. Oh yeah, just knocked it out real quick. Um... Hmm. That cost us two million dollars. Wow. Any cool new job? Oh, hardware tech. I want to see what this is all about, but we'll find out more about how that ended up going next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching another episode. This is my first time ever doing the councils, and we're going to have a killer council soon because uh, our research team is currently finishing up the council like development process. So it's going to be a crazy council soon. So we're going to be like just awesome. So for now, though, thank you so much for watching and supporting the content. If you guys enjoyed it, please down below, subscribe, like, comment, and share with a friend. And I will catch you all in a future episode. I'll see you guys.